for today's cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. <laughs> cup oh, of coffee. Oh, my um, God. Um, the screaming. <laughs> the screaming. It's internal. She is highly. It is internal. She <laughs> and it's intense. She is um, highly sensitive to frequencies right now. This happened in 2013. And I pray to God I do not go through another experience like that because I thought it was going to kill me. Mm-hmm. I really do. I, I mean, it, it's just one of those that the thought of having to go through something like that again, I don't know. There's so many t- Nobody knows what it was. I don't know what it was. But as far as vibration and frequency and receiving downloads from God and everything, everything. Are you getting downloads? Not yet. Not yet. But it's like during that period of time, a couple of months before, there had been this huge conjunction. There was a great conjunction. Yeah. Yeah. I think the main shit started in May of 2013, if I if I recall, because it's been a while. Yeah, eleven years. Yeah, eleven. eleven. But it's like I had noticed it going on for several days now, and we've got so much stuff going, and we're recording this on August the 27th of 2024, and on the 28th when this will air. Uh, it will be Mercury will go direct again. Loves it. I think. Let me make sure I <clears> lost <throat> my page. And that's part of the thing on this. And let me cough right into the mic. Yes. Voice. Yes. And it's like most interesting, even as far as observing self. It's not that I just observe other people. I do observe self very much. Like why am I yes, reacting? it is supposed to go direct. It's like, why am I reacting the way that I'm reacting? What is Sure. Why here? do people do what they do? Why yeah. do I do what I do? How can I control me and not allow other people to in- influence and affect the control of self? Yeah. I think if other people had the, a similar philosophy that ah, maybe things would change a little bit. But we've got that. You we've got that in me. Solar storms. I had just watched a video by Stefan Barnes about there's possibility that uh, this volcano. Let me see if I can find that right quick. That's and it's like I, I even had difficulty focusing that's one of the things right now as far as the difficulty focus yes i did take my stratera this is like adhd cracked out oh my god and and for those who are neurotypical they can't really fathom a, it i dropped a worm oh i got guns. Uh, but anyhow where this volcano is and i'll you know i did post the link over on X because usually I'm pretty good about reposting Stefan's stuff as it comes out because this he's talking about a super volcano and the possibility of an eruption. Yeah. He's not doing this just for shits and giggles and clicks and views. No, he's, he's genuinely not. trying to get that out. Yeah. I think that he is a very conscientious... He's a Virgo. <laughs> Oh my God, he's he a is Virgo. A very conscientious person that Virgos. he truly cares about people. Yeah. And I think that the level of stupid that has been cranked up in the world right now, that it makes his hair hurt oh, too. It's been cranked up to like 75. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's, that is the bad thing about Virgo season because those of us that's not full blown Virgo, but we have bits and pieces and parts in Virgo. And it's like, the stupid it burns. <laughs> it it really burns. Does. It burns. But the weirdness with the vibrations and the frequencies and what happened before, and the reason I want a kid in here because I know what it's like on the inside. I can't imagine what it is for somebody to observe me because it's atypical behavior for me. I know that. 
mama, I can feel it and it makes me nervous. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's like how it is manifesting. It's like if I'm watching the TV and somebody comes in the room or one of the cats and that includes the cats and, and that I have live, you know, verbalization or live frequency as opposed to whatever's coming off of the screen and stuff. I can't distinguish and it it's overwhelming. It is truly overwhelming. Yeah. I think that's partially why I might have decided to move over to a flip phone instead. I can understand that. And we don't know that there's not some kind of frequency coming off of these devices. I know that there was someone years ago that warned about that. Oh, yeah. they, Yeah. And how that that could it's be controlled and manipulated. It's basically been confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Yeah. But it's, it's like... It's like we don't know what the, what kind of radiation is coming off of these. Well, yeah. Yeah. And we don't know what it's doing to us. Mm-hmm. But I can't distinguish between... I can either do one or the other. I can't do both right now. And and which is weird because with my ADHD, even with the Stratera, I can do two or three things at, at the same time. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't bother me, usually. Yeah. But I have noticed over the past few days, and part of it had to do with, you know, pain index. Because for whatever reason, the fibromyalgia has just been cranked up also for days. Mm -hmm. And that probably has to do with the geomagnetic storms and the solar flares and all that shit. I started hurting the day, bef the day of the solar flares. Yeah. Yeah. Because I came home and it's like it hit just all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. No rhyme, no reason, nothing like and that. And it's like, what the, What happened? And I'm like, what the hell is this? What I'm happened? I'm not going to let it ruin my day. And um, so it was later that evening that Stefan Burns came on with the announcement. Yes, indeed, there had been, you know, a solar eruption, a CME, coronal mass ejection. Mm -hmm. And then that the geomagnetic storm and sometimes there can be a CME and it not reach Earth. But the vibration and the frequency, it all, it, you can't separate any of that. No. It's going to affect, it's just to what degree it affects. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so it's not it's just me, it's everybody. Yeah. And those that are unaware of what's going on. That they don't sit there and go, oh, we're having this. I'm going to have heightened this. What do they do? They sit there and go, I feel uncomfortable. I feel uneasy. I feel whatever because of, because, because you. And we're seeing lots of that. Mm -hmm. And it's like we are in a point of history. And I had quoted you on X today kid or someplace and oh, i don't Lord. know where it is I say a as lot far as i hate it's like i hate living through historic times yeah yeah it's fucked like this is a i don't think the world has seen anything like this no. at any point no not going on globally yeah or pretty much globally this is absurd well yeah <laughs> the clown the whore of babylon mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> currently we, running the country we, yeah. and running for president yeah. and she is it's oh god love mm -hmm. her she's embarrassing it's not it's uh, no i it's one of those that god help her <sighs> yeah but it's like it's one of those things you just go god i lift this individual up to you you do what needs to be done Mm -hmm. Because with our human minds, that can prevent us from doing what needs to be done. Yeah. God sees what we can't. And he has, he has immense compassion and love and stuff like that. But he also has his limits as far as boundaries. There is a point in time that he will say enough. Mm-hmm. But with the frequency thing, it's weird. 
it is just so bizarre. I've been eating the potatoes. I've mm-hmm. been doing the grounding. I have been, I mean, as far as, even as far as the concrete to go out on the porch, because the concrete has sand, it has silica, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. It's in contact with the earth. You know. Modern psychology says that that, that, that is ADHD or autism spectrum. Uh, oh, what did, what is that word? Give me a second. Okay. Does it take that long? Yes. Yes, it does. Well. Uh, it takes a certain amount. What the fuck? Give me a second. What? I lost my... Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now I lost it. Okay. I had it. I lost it. Remind me what the fuck I was saying. And he has been struggling for weeks, too. Yeah. He truly has. As far as you said, it started out in modern psychology, talks about the ADHD and oh, autism yeah. ADHD and Oh, yeah, ADHD or autism overstimulation, over, like stimulation overload. Uh-huh. That's what they would call it. But I don't think that they are considering planetary. They don't know anything. A lot of the modern psychology is a bunch of horse shit. Flat out. Yeah. There is a reason that a lot of these people call it a pseudoscience. And yes, I have discussed this and have voiced my opinions to trained professionals. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I told dude one time, oh my God, it was because I am me. I have always been me on a lot of this stuff. And it was, uh, it was actually, it was a pastor and he wanted to try to psycho babble a supernatural experience away. And I looked at him and I said, look, I said, I have a degree in this. Don't try to psycho babble me. I'm, I'm better at it than you are. This ain't it. And that's horrifying that you have somebody that is a spiritual leader that is scared shitless of the paranormal and supernatural. Mm -hmm. And and I think that mom told me at some point that he went into another profession. Good. Because he didn't need to be there. No. Unlike us, we have a fascination with the uh, normal and supernatural. part of who we are and what we are. Yeah. And, and that's the weirdness. Like I said, I can, I have not had that many people to observe and give me feedback when these things do occur to me. You know, it's to sit there and go, hmm, I'm observing this. Mm-hmm. And other than me going, hm, 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 nah, that that is one thing I yeah, would do. It's a, like, no, a, I can't uh-uh. handle this right now. Yeah. Now, are those boundaries ignored a lot of times? Yes. Because family does that. Family does that. Yeah. But I'm just I try to, I try. Is anybody else going through it? I mean, it's weird. It's weird. And it's almost like... A heightening of senses to a degree. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not normal ADHD shit. I mean, it's like everything is super loud on some things. It's like you were, you know, wrestling the bag or whatever. Yeah. Um, it was just like, ugh. Ugh. You know what? Yeah, I have been experiencing that. And, and it was just like he who in here with the... The lip smacking noises while he was eating the wet cat food. And I'm like, no, no, yeah. you're going to get that out of here. Mm. Of course, I'm like that on something. But this yeah. tonight, it was just like, no. Isn't, yeah, no. Nah. No, no. And so if people are acting out of character during this point in time, show them a little grace. Mm-hmm. That is important. But it's also a matter of self-control to sit there and go all right what's going on and this is this is a hell of a time to be psychic and or empathic 
what's the difference? Seriously, <laughs> what the hell is the difference? It's like everything it's is levels. splitting hairs. It's different levels. You feel stuff instead of seeing stuff or, or, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's like we were talking about Omega and, and with the censor, censorship bullshit and trying to, Everybody sounds like blithering idiots trying to get a point across because they're trying to skip through these convoluted hoops. Mm -hmm. Saying words outside of words and it's some motherfucker that I don't know is controlling all this shit. And it pisses me off. Shut the fuck up. Get cut to the chase. Yeah, that, that's one of the things that I have to be really, really careful for right now because I'm like, it's in Virgo season anyhow. It's like, do not tell me, give me the abridged, you know, edition of whatever it is. Cut to the chase. Do Cut not to the take fucking me chase. on the scenic route of whatever. So that. Yeah. 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 But now I'm like that. I think it's just old and tired. I really do on a lot of it. Yeah. Battle weary. But I just want to know, is anybody else having the same symptoms? And I've heard some of these people, oh, it's an ascension symptom. Really? Really? Is this, is that a real thing or is this some other delusional woo-woo bullshit something? I don't know. I figured that they were just shooting wicked energy through the, through the universe right now or attempting to. Well, I think everybody, it, it is a spiritual battle. My God, people that, the hardcore atheists are sitting there going, hey, you know, what is going on? And it was funny because... It's, literally, we are in the midst of a spiritual battle yeah, right now. Yeah. War. We are in spiritual war right now. And it was so funny because I was looking at an article... As far as Richard Dawkins, Mm -hmm. who has been waving the atheist flag for many a year. Yeah. And with everything that is happening right now, he's sort of rethinking his position on many things. Mm -hmm. He's 83 right now. And it's so funny because he was talking in a podcast, said that... As far as there being a link with social media and depression amongst young people. And he got blowback from it. And he's not used to that. And to sit there, because there is this separation between common sense Mm -hmm. and insanity. Yeah. And this is one of the choices as far as light and dark right now. Good and evil. Mm. Do you want to be on the side that has some common sense that is about order? Or do you want to be on the side that is about destruction, chaos, and madness? I'll take the first option. Uh Uh-huh. I will gladly take that first option. Yeah. Because, like I said... People that have ever dealt with somebody that had severe mental illness and when they were delusional and different things like that. And one of the things that you don't do is to encourage somebody in their delusions. Delulu. Yeah, no, you don't encourage that shit. You try to... Get them to snap out. To of bring it. them back to reality. Yeah. But what we're having right now are people that are encouraging delusions, and these people are going further and further down the rabbit hole, and we don't know that some of we don't know that some of them's ever gonna be able to be brought back. Oh no, some of them are gone, gone. Yeah. And it's that oh, oh. That's scary. That is really, really scary. It's 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 a vibe that is not. No, it's weird, and, and there are it's times not that it's describable. Really, there are times that it is literally almost dizzying. Yeah, that that you just feel like your head is reeling, 
it's it's totally different. I've had vertigo before. This ain't it. No. So it's I just wonder. Just... It's like, is it just me? Has other people had this? Are pe- other people going through this? I would say yes. And as far as in 2013, some of the herbals helped me tremendously. And it's like, my God, I was mixing, and I'm not telling anybody to mix anything. Check with whoever, somebody else other than me. Passion flower. Now, valerian does weird things to me. Passion flower, and I can't remember what the other one was. One of them is, as far as a tincture, was this beautiful chartreuse green. And then the other one was a amber color. But when you mix them together in the water and stuff, it would turn this milky color. Huh. My God, I went through bottles of that stuff. Because that yeah. was what was keeping me sane. Mm-hmm. Sort of, kind of. And trying to explain to people, because I was having all the supernatural stuff daily it was a for lack of a better term intense uh-huh very intense time. Mm-hmm. and i don't want to go through that again no I, I don't know that i could live through it again i really don't i didn't think i was going to live through it the first time but it's like when when i have anything that's sort of essence of that it's sort of like <gasps> Yeah. It, it makes you feel kind of panicky. Oh, yeah. Because you don't want a repeat of it. And, and you know, there's a lot of well-meaning people, and it's like, well, you need to do this, and you need to do this, and you need to sit there with a crystal and, and chant om, and say, that, that is not it. Not downing that stuff. That may work wonderfully well for some people. You know, I personally, for a couple of weeks now, I've been listening to some kind of uh, Gregorian chant thing that's God have mercy on us in Latin. For real. I can send you the link if you want to. It's really cool. It really you share is. that with me? Templar chants, I think, is what it is. Knights Templar. Uh-huh. But uh, it's nice. I can sleep to it. You can send me the link still. Yeah. I can do that. I can put it in the description box also so that other people, if they want to experience it. And And even on that. I that on repeat. That's like I've been, I basically have had that um, Almighty God song Mm -hmm. on repeat. Because it is a matter of constant prayer. Yeah. And we've been there before and we're doing it again. And it's, it's like even when you, that your spirit will cry out, which is there in in your heart, around your heart, if you ever wonder where that was, mm-hmm. to be trying to sleep and that you're aware of your spirit praying, even when it's not coming from your brain, it's coming from your spirit. It's odd. Yeah. It's odd. But a lot of times that's what, as far as the naps during the day, Mm. that's what I'm doing. And you're like, did you sleep well? No. Because I'm in this other state of existence that I don't quite understand. See, at night, I'm out. I'm gone. Uh Unless I'm having like some dream or whatever. But I'm, I'm gone. So the thought of being in that in-between realm, which is basically where I stand yeah, it's a limit. when I nap. Yeah. If I nap. Yeah. So you're doing it too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'd say there's quite a few people. Like, no joke. It, it Being in that nap realm, and it's uh-huh. not that deep it's, sleep. No, it's that in-between. You're conscious. You can hear everything that's going on. You just can't move. Yeah. But it's not sleep paralysis. It's not that. No, like, if you really wanted to, you could move. Yeah, it's the in-between. Yeah. And it's hard to describe spiritual things in <laughs> earthly terms. It's a weirdness. Yeah. But it's... Cu- See, I find it cool. I really do. I find that cool. Oh, I've had some. And I'm like, okay, this is either some like astral travel shit or it's spiritual. It's spirit crying out to God. It really is. 
there's a lot with that. Yeah. But it's just like I had somebody one time. It's like, oh, I wish I had the gifts that you have. And it's like, no, you don't. You do not understand the price that has to be paid to, but to have these gifts. Yeah. And especially the confusion. It's like, okay, what am I supposed to do with it? That's been the $64 question for almost 60 years. Well, to your family, it has helped. Well, yeah, maybe. It's like a voice crying. It's like I was talking to my mother today. It's like, did John the Baptist, when he was the voice crying in the wilderness, did he ever feel like banging his head on a rock? <laughs> because nobody was listening? Yeah. Yeah. Very much. Because I am that one that's going, the emperor is He's naked. Fuck ass naked. I've always been that one. I don't know why. As soon as and someone, I, as soon as someone cries out, "He's naked," it will be you. Yeah. He's naked. I'll be in the back, being like, "Put some drawers on." Oh, God. And I'm the one that's like, and then everybody scatters. It's like, oh God, don't be near it. Don't be near it. I don't want to be associated with it. Yeah. Put some pants on. Yeah. But it's like, on something like that, it'll fly out of my mouth before I even have a chance. That, that means it needs to be said. Yeah. And, and someone has to say it and got... dearly. Well. But that's where this weirdness with the vibration and the frequency and stuff like that. And it's just like, are you all having similar? And I mean, like I said, damn, you can only eat so many potatoes. For real. But now we do we do have that. Now the last time I, I will tell you this the 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 tea blend that Stefan Barnes it is so good, but it for me it is overly sedating. I mean I slept for hours the last time <laughs> and I felt just, sort of like overly sedated the whole next day. Maybe, That's why I can't do Valerian. Maybe use just a little bit. Just a little yeah. bit. Not a whole scoop I don't full, know. Just maybe a, maybe half maybe. that. I, I do have some passion flower tincture, I think I do. I can't remember what the other one was, but it was something else. It wasn't Valerian. Like I said, it. Valerian is this, this different herbs work with different people's frequencies. Yeah. It's like anything else. That so, final thoughts, kid. Kid kid had been digging out a, as far as a drain, where a drain pipe is going to have to it's a big be ass placed. Ditch. And it's a he, big ass ditch. And, and he's tired and it's like he you know, took the time to help his mama because she needed his input on this video. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful. I love you. I love you. I got gummies. You allowed me to eat through this one, so I'm happy. <laughs> so is that your final thoughts? <sighs> okay. Other than, the, other than the fact that this shit has been whacking, I thought... It's I, for some reason, I never thought to bring it up to you, but I thought it was just normal. No. I mean, it's almost <laughs> like for people that smoke dope, the few few times that I have done it, this, I don't oh, like no. the feeling. I do not. It helps do calm not. my shit down. It doesn't. No. No. And maybe it's because everything feels very unsteady. Oh, yeah. And, and it's just, it's this weird, it's almost like this, and I've been like this for years, it's like a free fall, and you can't. You're never reaching bottom. Are you talking about a high right now? Or what? Like the spiritual... Everything, both. I mean, like I said, I don't... I can't smoke marijuana. I can't use it. For those who can and can get benefit from the CBD and the THC, and God bless you. No, no, you got to be in the right head space. There are some of us that just... It doesn't work for us. I yeah. do not... Whiteout is not a fun thing for me. And I've heard other people go, it's green out. Well, it depends on which side of the pond that you're on. Tomato, tomato. It's <sighs> fucking green out, white out, whatever. Do you see static? It, you're fucking greening out, man. It makes me feel like, I'm, like I've got bed spins. That's not fun. You're greening out, man. 
so it's not fun. But, but it, it happens this, to people quite frequently. It's this weird, surreal, and I don't like it. I don't like feeling ungrounded. See, that only happens the first few times, <sighs> if at all. And then you frequently smoke it. That goes away. And then no. you just got like a good... For some of us, it does not. It's an allergic reaction. I turned orange. <laughs> um, and you know what I told you? You had some laced shit. No. Or some no. synthetic bullshit. From the 80s, every time. It doesn't work. For, and this is another thing. Explain this to me. You Those of you all who, who do smoke. I want to know how the fuck you turned orange. Explain this to me. That somebody can say, no, I don't want it. I can't use it. And that it's like, oh, well, you try this one and try this one and try. And it's this be one of us. No. No. I'm not. I don't want to be one of you. I don't want to sit there and worship at the feet of Bob Marley. No. That's not what goes no. on. No. In reality, that is not what goes on. There is you a sit cult there, like mentality with it. There truly is. You sit there, you shoot the shit, and then you start staring off into space and being like, wow. No. No. That there thing. are different people that that the works fuck is up with. with. That grasshopper. Yeah, no. It's, that does not work for some of us. Oldest kid is like I am on it, he can't use it. I think it gives me a greater appreciation for what God has made for us. Well, I'm glad that that, that it works that way for you, and it very well could be as far as but the fact that you, astrological signs on that too. Yeah, and the fact that you know we does the thing with you. I hate that. I hate that. But you know you're that way for a reason. Okay. Yes. But this is why I'm saying as far as people say, well, you haven't tried this and you haven't tried this. And it's like, no. That's why I don't push you. No. That's why I don't push you. And that is why on some things over the past few days, I have had to firmly sit there and go, no. It's okay to say no. Yeah. And if they don't, if whoever doesn't accept it the first time, say it louder. Yeah. Now, if it gets to the point where I'm flat out, just no. Uh, that's, there is a boundary that is being crossed. Mm-hmm. You know, and even with family, you still have to, you can get firm with family. You can. You can. So, very much interested in hearing your all's experiences with all this. And, and y'all could be sitting there going, Orlando, honey, you have finally lost your rabbit ass mind. Mm-hmm. And I was like crazy, <laughs> you know. You've gone around the band. Mm-hmm. I've got a quite collection of crazy songs, and you know, in my repertoire, we're all ballad of crazy. Dwight Fry. Mm-hmm. We're all crazy. So, if you listen to Alice Cooper's "From the crazy. Inside," awesome, awesome album. If you've had experiences with paranormal and the paranoid. And the supernatural. Paranoid. <laughs> paranoid. <laughs> Encounters with UFOs. Are you aliens, paranoid or are you cryptids, aware? Tinfoil hat. Painfully aware. Put that in the comment or you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. I really do want to hear your all's comments. Mm-hmm. Because it's is it just me? Is it just me? You know. So your thing here, kid. Yeah, the answer is no, it's okay. not just you. Okay. Check her out on BitChute, Rumble, YouTube, Orlando's Cup of Coffee with Scream. <clears throat> I'm in a slouch position. I can't. Oh, sorry. Oh, the Aries. The Aries. <laughs> Excuse him, The Aries. Sorry. Orlando's Cup of Coffee with Scream. BitChute, Rumble, YouTube. X, previously known as Twitter, Rolanda C O C W S. Also, ch- you've done it about three Fuck. times now. Leave it. Like just the video. Subscribe. Share. Ah. There you go. Oh. Just edit out the other ones. Lizard people. I hear they taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs>
That's why we had this running thing over on X there for a while. I'm sure David Icke will not appreciate <laughs> that we had invaded his page. Mm. But any, it was funny because all of us were in a mood. Hmm. We Roasted a reptilian. Mood. Well, it's one of those that I had told Robert Phoenix. Deep fried reptilian. I said, look, I said, my people ate possum and, and you know, groundhog. I said, you'll eat damn near anything if you're hungry enough. So, yeah. I always have a contingency plan. Always. Always. Know that you are loved. Treat other people the way that you would like to be treated, especially with compassion right now. Mm -hmm. Just give everybody a little bit of grace. If they're acting out of character, there's something going on. Mm. That includes yourself. Give a little bit of love. Absolutely. A lot of times, give them extra space if yeah. they need that. Mm -hmm. You know, just respect the fact that they're going through something that is deeply individual. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll first sit there and go, I'm here. If you need me, come get me. I'm here. Mm -hmm. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Yep. Bye. Bye. Bye.